guys. Um, so last night's vlog was crazy, was it not? We found those dogs along the road. Um, they were just huddled in a little ball, all three of them, out in the middle of the woods. And there was no houses around, nothing. And one of them was well enough that it could get up and it came to see us and it was real excited. It was very submissive. It wanted you to rub its belly and stuff. Um, but the other two were in terrible condition and we just couldn't leave them there. So as you saw from yesterday, or if you haven't seen, go back and watch it. Um, you can kind of see how they were. Um, when you watch this vlog today, there is four days left um, for someone to come pick or to come clean those dogs if you know if someone um, was to do that. But I don't think they are, being that they were just out in the middle of nowhere and so they seemed like someone dropped them off. Um, but I challenge you to go to the Parkersburg Humane Society and adopt those dogs. You don't have to adopt all of them. Um, you know, the, the, one that, the one with the pointy nose was so cute and gentle. Um, and I'm hoping that the beagles made it too. Um, the guy that picked them up yesterday, he said that it's going to determine, you know, it'll be determined by how bad off they were. Um, so I'm hoping that when the vet saw them yesterday, they weren't as bad um, as what they seem to be. So, um, right now I'm heading to work. I work all day. I work 11.30 to 8 today. So you're not going to see me much. Uh, you will see Emily most of the day. Um, and I think um, she'll be back this evening. Um, I think we might watch another movie this evening. So anyway, um, I will see you after work. And have fun with Emily today. my voice in and out all day long um, actually for like the past three days I think um, I blame Andrew I don't know why actually it's probably from this past weekend from the winter retreat but I still blame Andrew anyways just because it's fun to blame him for everything today is the 70th day of vlogging so that's really exciting and in 30 more days it'll be 100 can you believe that it's kind of crazy so I think we are going to try and do something super fun and exciting for day 100 and you should give us ideas. I told Andrew that I'm going to make him 100 pancakes and he has to eat them all, but that probably won't happen, but we need to do something like that, something in themes of 100. So give us ideas, comment below, and we will try and do them all. I'm getting stuff for my lesson for tonight at church, but I got distracted by these awesome shirts. Look, there's this one, which is amazing. Captain America, there's Spider-Man, more Spider-Man, more Spider-Man, there's Transformers, and Batman, more Spider-Man, and of course these are all kids' sizes, so they don't have any in mine. I looked in every shirt and they don't have any. Look at these! They're Lego watches! How cool is that? So I am driving back to Athens, um, I have, well I'm going to pay my rent, and then I have class from 3 to 5, and then I have church, technically from 5.30 to 7.30, but I won't be able to make it by 5.30, so I'll be there as soon as I can, but anyways, that's how my day is going to go, um, it feels really nice out, I don't know if you can, it's really sunny, well now it just looks like it's going to rain, but the sun's out and it feels awesome. I can't stop coughing. And all I want in my life right now really is to just stop coughing. And I hate going into class coughing. I think that's always annoying. I don't want to be that kid who just sits there and coughs the entire two hours, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be that kid today. But um, I do have a story. One time, because I hate coughing in class, um, or sniffling or you know, any of that. So one time, I decided to hold my cough, which was really not very smart of me, but I held it in my cough and I ended up choking on my cough and crying and, well not crying, crying, but like tears were running on my face and the person next to me was like, what's wrong with you? What's going on? Are you okay? And I was like, yeah, no, I just have to cough. And so I ran out of the room and lesson learned, never hold in a cough. Okay, well I'm here at my apartment. I just paid rent and I'm getting ready to go to class and it seriously feels
feels awesome out. Um, it's like, what, 60 degrees, if not higher than that? It's amazing. For February, that's crazy. I wish Andrew wasn't working, stuck inside all day, but actually I'd be in class, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. But maybe it'll be nice tomorrow, because I think we're going to hang out tomorrow. Actually, I think he's going to come over tonight, and we're going to watch a movie, but I don't think it'll be as nice out when he gets there. It'll be like 8 o'clock. Look what Andrew's, can you see it? Velociraptor claws did to me. Actually, no, he didn't do that. It was the briars yesterday from can hunting, but. Andrew, can you see it? There's a yellow slug bug. I'm winning. Okay, we're playing an obstacle course, and the team has to guide them. Matt's doing pretty good? Okay, now Abby goes. Listen to your team, Matt. What are you doing? Eating? What are you doing? It's your You're fault. Eating out. <laughs> it's your fault. Yeah. There's something wrong with this dog. There's not. <laughs> Isn't that how you act? She's got an itch. an itch. Oh, I forgot to tell you. My mom called Humane Society to get an update on the dogs. And they said if the beagles don't get better within five days, they're probably going to have to put them down. They said they were in really bad condition. It's really sad. Mm -hmm. But we kind of knew that. We yeah. figured. And they tried to put drops in their eyes to produce tears, <laughs> and they haven't been. <coughs> So, I don't know. I'm going to tell you a story that I wrote for you okay. during class. Tell me. Okay. There once was a boy named Andy who really didn't like candy. He liked to search for cans with his mom and his old man. And if he did that the rest of his life, it'd be dandy. He met a girl named Emily. He thought she was very friendly. He gave her hugs. They fell in love. And that's the story of Andy and Emily. The end. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I spend my time wisely in class. Ooh. 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 Cross your eyes. Okay. Am I dead? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot she doesn't know how to cross her eyes. <laughs> Try. Wasn't I doing it? Look at my finger right here. You're close. You do that like this. Okay. Hey! You did that it. That really hurts my eyes. It's time to end the end of day. It is time to end the day. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. I blame Emily. I'm losing my voice. I blame Andrew. No, it's Emily's fault. <sighs> Look at all these thank yous. <clears throat> oh, here. I showed people. So we did our City Soul <clears throat> movie night. Um, it was cars and the movie theater in Marietta donated popcorn, so all the kids made thank yous for the movie theater. There's one. There's one. And then this is my personal favorite. I'm not sure what it is, but it says, the eat the popcorn. I don't think that's supposed to be pumpkins. I mean, it looks like it. Maybe it is. I don't know. But I why would it be pumpkin? More popcorn. I want more popcorn. Thank you. What are these? Flowers or feet? This says, that's nice. Maybe we will do it to you. These popcorn. Are, these are hands. Oh. I love me. See you later. Bye bye. Mending the day. So we will see you tomorrow.